Here we go then. So this panel is from a, I believe it's like a delivery robot door. Um, we were printing them, so we, you know, we take them to shows and stuff just to show off the size of the panel we can print. This one was damaged in transit. You can see there's a couple of nice weak gouges in the side. So I'm going to go over repairing them, but I'm going to use the Paintex UV chip repair kit. I'm just going to demonstrate that it can be used with other products as well here. So I've got 320 on a nice flat block just to make sure that the edges of this sort of chip gouge, it's quite a deep one actually, it's gone right down to the, the plastic. So we just want to make sure that the edges of the chips are flat so that when we uh, apply the putties and stuff that it will remain smooth throughout. And I'm just taking a high pressure blower there just to make sure that there's no grit left in there um, from the sanding. Because obviously if you put your putty on top of that and it pops out, that's going to be the reason it pops out if you're sort of putting it over dust and stuff like that. So I'm going to use the uh, Colad's uh, UV putty, the course you'll see here. Um, the course is quite good, actually. It, it fills slightly larger holes, but you've got to be mindful of how thick you're putting it on. The thicker you put any UV product, the longer it will take to cure. Um, I actually like to use the Paintex uh, clear coat. Because the clear coat is transparent, it allows the UV rays to penetrate deeper. Whereas this, because it is coarse and it's got a bit of a gritty texture to it, um, it will take slightly longer. So anytime you put a UV product on really thick, you will increase the drying time that it needs to be exposed to the UV light. So just keep that in mind when using the product. Um, you'll see here I'm going to open up the kit, get the torch out. <clears throat> now our torch has the right wavelength and power output to cure just about any UV product on the market but without the massive price tag. And that was one of the reasons that I've decided to release this kit. It's realizing that, yes, big companies do invest a lot of money and time and effort into creating the torches and making them into these big fancy looking things. But in all realities, it's the wavelength that cures the product, not the torch itself, you know, the what it looks like or whatever. So we can get away with a fairly standard looking torch here and have it, Priced at a point where it's affordable to keep in your own box. So anyway, back back to repair. Let's get into here. You'll see there's a slightly heavy edge that I've missed there. I even missed it from the last time we uh, painted it. And that should have been polished out really before it went. But 320 on a block to rub the putty and the that little chip out there. And then I'm just going to take P500 on the DA. And we're just going to prep the rest of this panel ready. I'm just going to paint the whole thing. So I'm just going to prep the panel make sure that it's ready to be painted properly um, I do believe it's a slightly different blue that we put on we would ran out of this it was a candy blue we're going to interrupt this video for a quick look at the paint text products as painters we love laying down a glossy coat of clear achieving a beautiful finish and especially for our customers but do you ever find a silicon or a chip that's been missed during the prep only after the vehicle's been baked? Well, the Paintex UV Chip Repair Kit is the perfect solution. Our UV clear coat dries in five seconds on small silicon sized imperfections, which is perfect for keeping the paint shop flowing where efficiency is a must. Being able to save panels from costly reworks if the silicon is in a visible area will not only benefit the painter, but also keep profitability in the job. And not to mention, our UV torch has a perfect power output and wavelength to cure other brands, UV putties, primers, so having your own torch to hand will also help speed up the prep. The Paintex UV chip repair system contains a UV torch, UV clear coat, 100 applicator sticks, a handy rubbing block, all contained in a handy little carry case that will fit right in anyone's toolbox. So if you require any more information, please visit the website www paintex.shop my apologies but it has to be done anyway we're going to use the fuji hv8 with a 1.3 needle nozzle at two bar and i'm going to be spraying final systems uv primer obviously this is uh, straight out of the can um, you've got to make sure you give it a good mix as well because it can settle 
And I'm just going to follow the TDS. It's, I believe it's one sort of light coat, one slightly thicker coat, and like a full wet afterwards, uh, leaving a good, I think it's a minute and three minutes before you um, apply the final UV uh, curing. But like I say, just follow the technical data sheet. But the thing for me here is I'm just going to show you how versatile our torch is. Again, it's kind of standard looking torch, but it gets the job done and it does it really, really quickly. Um, I believe I managed to cure this area in sort of five minutes. We recently just done a test with the Sickens uh, UV primer and I've been testing it on spray out cards. So everybody's got a standard sort of spray out size uh, card. But it cured the Sickens primer in three minutes, and that was three good coats of UV primer, and it took just three minutes. So it's, again, it's not the torch that does the work, it's the UV ray that it emits, uh, the UV wavelength. Anyway, we'll get right into this here. Uh, Merca P320 Gold Flex, and just give this a quick tickle, because it, to be honest, it really wasn't that bad. And then I'm just going to rub around, sort of, the finishing off the area to blend the 320 that we just cleaned that up with uh, into the 500 that it's been prepped for for paint and we'll go into your sort of standard paint in here you see i'm wiping down the table just to get any excess dust off of here good clean blown tacked all that good stuff back in the fuji hv8 1.3 uh, with a metallic blue this time it would have been nice to do the candy but we didn't a daydreamer blue there from custom paints and I'm just going to go with a full colour change to, just to make this look as good as it can. And I'm spraying it 29 psi, which is two bar, nice and light. You know, build it up. Give sort of. I think I give one over the repaired area, and then I'll go over the top just to ensure that we've got good coverage. And, and to be fair, the custom paints do fantastic products. It's uh, solvent-based, not water-based. But the amount of compliments we get on the colours that we're using from there is unreal. And the coverage is good. Um, I can't recommend them enough, so I'll put a link in the description for them so you can go and get some paint from them. Plenty of colours, different um, pearls, metallics... Zeralix, uh, colour changing, all that sort of stuff. But here we just wanted a nice sort of metallic blue, and the Daydreamer blue's done the trick for that. Coming in, second coat um, with a solvent, and it's much the same as any other paint, really, unless you're using a, a one coat brand like Standox or Exalta products, Spizeka, that kind of thing. Two coats, make sure it's fully cured in between, and then a drop coat. Uh, orientation coat, whatever they call it these days, control coat. I've been out of the uh, car game for a while, so I'm starting to forget. But yeah, nice drop coat, we call it, just to make sure that the metallics are laid down nicely. And I'm going to come in with the Fuji uh, MPV8 with 1.2. Uh, this is Capsi 6050 clear coat in there. And again, another fantastic product. Sprayed at 2 bar, 29 PSI. And yeah, just whack, whack a good coat on. Give it 5 minutes. And then put another on. Um, you know, I say all the time in the videos, edges, edges, edges. And you can see it applies to this. Um, you know, any sort of product that I'm painting. I want to make sure the edges are hit first. And get it all nice and... and and good, you know, I say nice and good. Sound like a wally. But you want to make sure it is good, you know. This is going to be on a display and this is going to be taken probably all around Europe. Um, shown off at trade shows and stuff. So I need this to look as good as it can because not only has it got our company name on it, but I feel like it's got my name on it, you know. I take a lot of pride in my work and doing jobs like this are exactly the same. You know, you have to make sure that it's as good as it possibly can be. But that's about it for this one, so I'll show you some nice sort of walk around and check out that blue and the sparkle in it. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for this paint.
and all the products, why not? But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.